Good morning. You're watching SABC and I'm Michelle Garforth Fenter with the news. In the United States, a gunman with an apparent grudge against the police has shot dead two officers in a patrol car in New York City before killing himself. You're watching Green Line, your sustainable guide to living in South Africa. Now, cities mean buildings, big buildings. And when it comes to carbon emissions and waste, the construction industry in a developing country is responsible for up to 40% of those emissions and waste. You're watching Morning Live. I'm Michelle Garforth Fenter with the 7 a.m. News. It's reported from Mogadishu that Al Shabaab militants have beheaded two Somali policewomen. A district commissioner says this prompted a policeman to kill five women linked to the group who were being held for a possible swap of captives. Now, the best thing with solar geezers is that they generally pay themselves off between a two and four year time frame. But best of all, we get to save on our electricity bills, ultimately, keeping the money money in our pockets. And in boxing this morning, former three-time heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali has been taken to hospital with a mild case of pneumonia. Ali, who suffers from Parkinson's disease, is in a stable condition and the 72-year-old stay in hospital is likely to be brief. Welcome back. Now what do Selma Hayek, Juliana Moore and Uma Thurman have in common? Well, they are all celebrity moms who have been pregnant over the age of 40. Pregnancy rates for over 40s have more than doubled in the past 24 years. Michelle is actually three months pregnant. There's a little baby in here. Michelle's pregnancy offers the couple the perfect opportunity to explore ways to live a greener lifestyle, ways that are healthier for people and the planet. Our relationship is doing great through the building of the house. You always hear these horror stories of people, you know, fighting and arguing and nearly getting divorced because of, you know, financial and, and construction issues that arise. We're enjoying the process. And in fact, I think it's doing our relationship good. It gives us something positive to do together. <laughs> I received a press release from Coca-Cola South Africa, launching a new innovative product they call Plant Bottle. So I decided to come to the heart of the matter where it all happens, the Volpre plant, to find out if everything they're saying in the press release is accurate when it comes to green, or is there just a little bit of greenwashing going on? Most countries, including South Africa, make use of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas for energy. These are non-renewable, meaning that they draw on a finite resource that will eventually dwindle, become too expensive or environmentally damaging to make use of. The company are going to be able to save 600,000 Rand on their electricity bills in this coming year. Baxberg is a leader in green business initiative and showing that once again, green choices don't have to compromise quality and don't have to compromise taste. I'm Michelle Garforth Fenter with the news. One of the country's top veterinarians has been stabbed to death at her White River house. The Blitzbocker remain unchanged for the Nelson Mandela tournament and a Winnie the Pooh illustration fetches millions on auction. As a company owner, if you go ahead and you employ somebody who has lied or elaborated on that resume, is there a legal recourse? Are you able to at least say, you know, I, I don't want to employ you anymore? And that is the end of this bulletin compiled by Newsflash News Agency. Next will be our headlines at uh, 30 minutes past five. That's your news this morning at eight o'clock. Let's check in with this morning's weather. And that's your news at seven. Now your feedback is vital to us. So follow us at media24.co.za and tell us what you're thinking.